Hey guys, this is Jacksup from Windows Phone Hacker, and today I'm going to show you how to debrand your Samsung Focus and be able to install a Noto update today. So, uh, I'm going to be doing this completely live so you can see everything I'm doing, and this is tricky and will take several attempts. Please only attempt this if you know what you're doing because you could seriously mess up your device. So, first off, you'll need to make sure your device is unlocked. So, I'll go ahead and double check that real quick. All right, so I have it hooked up to the computer. And as you can see, Zoom is loading up. All right, so here it is connected. I'm gonna go ahead and load up the Chevron Windows Phone 7 tool and go ahead and click on lock. And for more details on how to do this, we have another video that you can watch. Um, and now I'll go ahead and close that out because we don't need it anymore. All right, so the next thing we need to do is sideload the Samsung registry editor onto the device uh, so that we can debrand it. So we're gonna go back to the computer and open up the application deployment tool. And I'll have the link to where you can download this in the description, of course. And we'll choose a Windows Phone 7 device. We'll hit browse and select Samsung Registry.zap and press deploy. All right, and that's done. So we'll go back to the phone. And we need to set a special registry key in here. So we're going to go over to the Samsung registry application. And this particular version has it already typed in HQ local machine slash system slash platform slash device targeting info slash mobile operator. And uh, we'll double check that's the right key. And it is. So instead of leaving this blank, okay, and now we need to change this value to. Zero 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 dash eight eight, and then we'll press right, and it is now set to that value. So now we can go ahead and pull up Zune and check for updates. And as you can see, it's up to date with version. 7008 because we already have the pre noto update installed if you don't it'll pop up and ask you to install the february update which you can install if you want but it's pretty much a waste of your time it doesn't really change anything on your device okay so here comes the tricky part we need to download the file that will also be listed in the description uh, usaip.pbk and when you click on it it should pop up something like this we want to choose the Euro IP PPT, PPTP Hungary and connect to that. And the username is demo and the password is also demo. We'll hit connect. And at this point it should be connected and to double check we can open it back up and now it says hang up instead of connect. So we know we're connected. Okay, so the first run we're going to have everything turned off. So we have the uh, wi Wi-Fi is turned off, and then we're going to go over into the cellular data and make sure that that is switched off. So we go into cellular, and as you can see, the data connection is off. Now we go back into Zune. And we press linking just to close it out, and then press update again. And we're going to time how long this takes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and clip the video because we don't wanna waste your time, but that took about 28 seconds. It'll vary for you, but now we're gonna go back to the phone and switch on the data connection. And then head back over to Zoom, but this time we're gonna time it and turn off the data connection on the phone right at about 26 seconds.
Okay, and as they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, which is what we're going to do here. And I will remind you, this will take several tries to get right. But we're going to go and reset our timer, go back to update, and go. And here we go, an update is available. And if you look over on our screen here, it says that the March 2011 update is available. So we're gonna go ahead and install this and we'll see what happens. All right, and it's checking for updates again. We're going to go ahead and disconnect our Hungarian connection just because we don't need it anymore. And here we go. And here it has listed copy and paste, faster start and resume times, improved category search, performance tune-ups, and we can click more info and it'll take us over to the update website. So let's click update now. And now it is downloading the updates. And we're hoping this will create a restore point because last time we installed the pre noto update, it didn't, which sort of concerned us because then we will not be able to roll back to do homebrew. Uh, so something to think about before you do this, after you do this, you probably won't be seeing homebrew for at least a month. So just be careful. All right, and here it says it's creating a backup, which is good. And if we if we look down at the phone real quick, you can see it has the do not disconnect symbol, which is also a good sign. All right, and at this time, you can also sort of see on the device a bit of a small progress bar scrolling across the top right here. So the phone is definitely making its progress. It says it'll take around 33 minutes to complete, which I will not show all in this video. There's, we will clip around in it a bit, but we will have all the important steps and what we're doing, uh, just the progress of those steps. We might cut a little short. All right, and it's almost done with creating the backup. And it now should move on, I suppose, to actually installing the update on the phone. All right. As you can see, the progress bar on the phone has disappeared, and a new one should be starting, we assume. All right, we're now on step 9 of 10, and it is rebooting the phone, as you can see down here means the update should be uh, pretty much completely installed now and it just needs to bring us back to our home screen.
And as you can see, all of our purple theme is kept. But if we go over into the settings, and head on over to About, we now have OS version. Seven point zero point seven three nine zero. So we now have the latest update. And there we have the copy icon for copy and paste. Hopefully this will work for you. Remember it will take several tries to get it right. Uh, but good news is it does work and you can get the Noto update today. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions be sure to let us know. And give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked the video.